Let it be done unto me according to thy word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let me just give you the unvarnished truth. And the Protestants will consider this perhaps one of the greatest abominations that I'm just about to preach to you. But it's one of the most sublime and beautiful truths of divine wisdom. Through Mary, God made man came to us only through Mary. Through Mary, we should go to God. Jesus is truly man, but he is truly God. And if we are afraid of approaching infinite greatness, infinite purity, infinite perfections because of our miseries and our sins, then let us approach him through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through the efficient advocate that she is. She is kind, she is tender, and there is no forbidding in her nothing too sublime, nothing too brilliant. When we see her, we see our own nature at its purest. She is not the sun dazzling our weak sight, but rather she is the fair moon receiving her light from the sun and softens it and adapts it to our limited perception. She is so full of love that no one who asks for her intercession goes away rejected. No matter how sinful he may be, the great apostle of Siena, Saint Bernardine, in the 15th century taught, as you were not worthy that anything divine should be given to you, all graces were given then to Mary so that you might receive through her all graces you would otherwise not receive. And the great Saint Augustine affirms that Mary has conquered the Almighty by her love, won over his heart. This means that we should live our lives and live our faith or live our spiritual lives more fortified in approaching God. Were we to approach Him stronger and more powerful, armed by Mary's merits and prayers, the most worthy Mother of God. So let us continue this holy sacrifice of the Mass, imitating the Archangel Gabriel. Let us go to Mary, Ite Ad Mariam, and let us not look back. The more we place ourselves in her hands, the more we'll be united to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen.